Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. In today's lecture, we will discuss about non-methods and physical properties of non-methods. Non-methods are the elements which form negative ions by gaining electron. They usually have four or more valence electrons. Out of 117 elements known at present, only 19 are non-metals. These include the noble gases. Just as metals, the non-metals also play important role in chemistry in our, and in our daily life. Non-metals form a large number of compounds, some of which we use in our daily life. Carbon is an important non-metal because Many of the life processes are dependent upon the carbon compounds such as carbohydrates, vitamins, amino acids, proteins, enzymes, fats and oils, etc. Oxygen plays important role for su sustenance of life and in combustion of fuels. Non-metals are used to make acids, fertilizers, vegetable ghee, insecticides, fungicides, explosives, medicines, food preservatives. Sulfur is an important non-metal which is used in industry and in medicine. Neon is used in neon sign tubes in advertising. Hydrochloric acid is used as a toilet cleaner. Fluoride toothpaste contains compounds of fluorine. Chlorine is also used as an industrial chemical. Ammonia is used to make fertilizers. Non-metals appear at the right hand side of the periodic table. This point should be kept in mind. This is important that non-metals they are at the right hand side of the periodic table. Out of 19 non-metals, 7 are solids, 11 are gases and only one liquid is bromine. Now let us discuss physical properties of non-metals. The first physical property is hardness. Non-metals are generally soft and brittle. For example, sulfur and phosphorus. There are few exceptions to this also. For example, boron and carbon. Carbon in the form of diamond are very hard. Diamond is the hardest natural substance known. While another allotropic form of carbon is graphite, which is soft and used for making pencils. The second property is density. Non-metals have low densities. For example, density of phosphorus is 1.82 gram per milliliter and density of sulfur is 2.06 gram per milliliter. Non-metals form diatomic molecules like nitrogen N2, H2, O2, Cl2, F2 and tetraatomic molecules for example P4, phosphorus 4 and octa-atomic molecules like sulfur 8, S8 and Se8, selenium 8. They do not have, have any permanent electrical polarity and these molecules do not have any extra electron to bind among themselves and the intermolecular attractive forces holding these molecules are very weak. So as a result of this, non-metals have low densities. Now next property is malleability and ductility. Non-metals are neither malleable nor ductile. This is due to the presence of very weak interatomic or intermolecular attractive forces. Once the crystal pattern is broken, the original pattern cannot be restored. This explains why solid non-metals are brittle. Now coming to the next property that is luster. Non-metals are not lustrous and they have dull appearance. 
This is due to the absence of free electrons in non-metals. There is one exception to this, that is iodine. Iodine has a slight metallic luster. The presence of luster in diamond is not due to free electron, but due to its high refractive index, which is responsible for total internal reflection of light. Now coming to the next property, melting and boiling points. Non-metals have low melting and boiling points. This is because they do not possess permanent electrical polarity and the intermolecular attractive forces are also very weak. It is easy to pull the molecules apart by heating. And there are few exceptions to this also. For example, boron, carbon and silicon, they have very high melting and boiling points. Boron, carbon and silicon, they form giant molecules having non-ending network structure. The rupture of this structure requires a li large amount of heat energy. Now next property is thermal and electrical conductivity. Non-metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity. This is due to the absence of free electrons available for electrical conduction in non-metals. And there is one exception, exception to this also. Graphite conducts electricity. The electrical conductivity of graphite is due to the presence of mobile electrons. Now next property is sonority. Non-metals are non-sonorous. Sonorous means producing sound when hit by an object. So non-metals do not produce sound when hit by an object. Now allotropy. Non-metals exhibit allotropy. The property of an element to exist in more than one structural form is called allotropy. The different form of an element are known as allotropes. For example, carbon exists in various allotropic forms like diamond, graphite, buckminster fulgurans, coke, lamp black. And Phosphorus also exists in five different forms like yellow phosphorus, red phosphorus, violet phosphorus, scarlet phosphorus and black phosphorus. Sulfur also exists in various allotropic forms like monoclinic sulfur, rhombic sulfur and plastic sulfur etc. So non-metals exhibit allotropy. Thank you for watching Adupedia world videos.